A new species of gecko has been discovered along Auckland's west coast. The Korowai, as it'll be known, has a population of just 32, but it's hoped with the help of conservationists and caring locals, these endangered animals can begin to thrive. Lucy Thompson has the story. In and amongst the dense coastal plants of Muriwai Regional Park lives a unique and incredibly rare population of gecko. One, two, three. Really special in where it's found and then the markings are quite unique as well, the way it has those special stripes on its back. The endangered species has officially been named by local iwi as the Korowai gecko. It tells you about the location where the gecko is found, up the, up the peninsula there, uh, but also we felt that it was reflective of the appearance, the markings on its back. Uh, not dissimilar actually to some of the markings that can be found on particular kinds of traditional cloaks or corduroy. Auckland Council has just completed a five-year monitoring program to learn more about the animal, its population and habitat preferences. Comparing it to other local species, it's been mistaken for. This is just one of 32 Korowai discovered since their rediscovery back in 2014. They're one of the most geographically challenged animals only identified along this stretch of coastline. To be honest, we actually need 10 years worth of data before we can even um, figure out whether the population is stable, whether it's increasing or it's decreasing. But they do know the species is incredibly vulnerable to predators and locals as well. And so when people do go off the uh, beach itself and into the dunes, that's destroying that habitat, uh, either indirectly affecting those animals, but sometimes directly probably. They're not going to thrive with, with people um, uh, ripping and busting um, you know, up into the dune country where, the, where they're found. It's why council and we are encouraging people to show that good behaviour on the beach. For their own safety and the safety of these little guys too. Lucy Thompson, News Hub.